I see self-help tip number two, diet modification. Have you noticed that some foods or drinks make your symptoms worse? Well, this is actually very, very common. Listen, if you have a wounded bladder, if you have Hunter's lesions, if you have estrogen atrophy, if you have bladder wall irritation, foods absolutely will trigger greater flares, especially foods that are high in acid, like coffee, tea, green tea, black tea, soda, chocolate, a multivitamin that's high in vitamin C or a vitamin C supplement, and even cranberry juice. Cranberry juice, the drink everybody says is good for the bladder. Uh-uh. For us, we call it the acid bomb. Foods that are high in acid can be very irritating to the bladder wall. The same is true with alcohol. Foods that are high in alcohol also have the potential of irritating the bladder wall. Although we did a very interesting alcohol study on the IC Network website. And just in general, to kind of summarize, the vast majority of patients with bladder wall issues flare when drinking alcohol. Um, but if you do a pale ale beer or a low acid wine or something like sake, those were less bladder irritating than other forms of alcohol. But of course, if you're having a flare or you've got open hunters lesions, you'd be foolish to do any alcohol at all. Your job is to create an environment that will support healing. That's our goal here. The hard reality about the bladder is that it is the slowest healing organ in the body. It takes two weeks for one cell to be replaced. And while that cell is being replaced by the next generation of cells, that new, that stem cell, which is growing and changing in size and trying to fill in any damage to your bladder wall, is exquisitely vulnerable to acid. And literally one coffee will destroy an entire generation of cells trying to repair your bladder. So in general, what we suggest is that patients go on the diet for at least three months. And yes, I know you love your coffee and I know you love your soda, but if you had a wound on your hand, would you pour coffee on it? Would you pour soda, soda on it? And the answer of course is no. And what's gonna happen to a wound if you pour acid on it every day? It's gonna get worse. So what we generally suggest is that you follow the IC diet for at least three months to just protect your bladder, create an environment that will support bladder healing, give your bladder an opportunity to start a repair process going on before you start introducing some risk foods again. Will you be able to drink coffee again? Yeah, you probably will. And we have some really good low acid coffees, but it's important that you give your bladder a little bit of time to heal before you start doing stuff like that again. Anyway, listen, we have a whole lot more information on the IC diet, as well as some cookbooks on the IC diet and a lot of publications right on over on our website, icnetwork.org. So if you're looking for more information, come on over and check it out.